combat mods for Skyrim have reached a whole new level this past year. We've gone from relying on scripted mods that are prone to script lag, to weightless mods that utilize SKSC and behaviors to ensure a smooth and responsive experience. We've also gotten to the point where we're able to closely replicate combat from titles like Dark Souls and Sekiro with the vast amount of mods available in the community. But I understand not all of us want to install 50 mods just to overhaul combat. So today, I'll be showcasing a combat overhaul that modernizes Skyrim's combat with just a few mods. The combat setup I've gone for is inspired from titles like Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Sekiro, and Elden Ring. I think it goes without saying not everybody will enjoy this setup, but with Skyrim being over a decade old now, I think it's worth updating its dated combat mechanics with modern ones. If you haven't tinkered too much with combat mods, I seriously recommend you try to. You'll be doing a lot of combat when playing through Skyrim, and this combat overhaul will give the game a coat of fresh paint, so both returning players and current players can experience Skyrim in a whole new way. I'll also be providing a written guide for this overhaul in the description, as instructions and other details are easier to follow when presented in written form. But before we get into it, let's take a moment for today's sponsor. Hero Wars. Oh my Hero Wars is a role-playing fantasy game. You can fight enemies in epic battles and collect all kinds of heroes, from cyborgs to aliens to cat girls. Did you just say cat girls? Building teams with synergy and equipping them with the right gear is super fun, but the borders between the worlds are thinning. This Halloween, Hero Wars offers you to register now and activate a portal between reality and the game world. Come on in! This is like the Oblivion Crisis all over again! You can win amazing prizes, like gifts for your followers, but you could also win 160 Amazon digital gift cards worth $50, $100, and $500. So we need 10,000 installs to open a portal between reality and the game world. First, download the game via my link in the description or this QR code on screen then complete a short in-app tutorial, and finally, sign up for a free game account and get an in-game ID to take part in the sweepstakes. No purchases are necessary to enter or win. Dude, I just want 500 septums! You cannot actually win septums. Remember, the more installs we get, the more prizes will be drawn. Oh yes! I just want powerful gear for my cat girl! Hey yo, I just want an Amazon gift card! So click on the link in the description, or scan my QR code to download Hero Wars before October 31st and get a chance to win some amazing prizes. Thanks again to Hero Wars for sponsoring this video. To start things off, we'll need MCO ADXP. This framework gives attacks motion data, so like in pretty much every third-person modern action RPG, you'll have to commit to attacks, which is a stark difference to the eye scanning combat we see in vanilla Skyrim. It also gives weapon types different movesets, so they all feel unique, having their own strengths and weaknesses. By default, MCO already has Mike Nike's Elder Souls movesets built in, but there are a ton of moveset packs out for MCO you might want instead. I'll provide links to some of my favorites in my written guide. For my setup, I'm using Nordic Animation Complete Pack. We'll then need Scar to allow NPCs to utilize movesets and pull off combos. Without Scar, vanilla AI won't know how to use these movesets, and will just spam the same attack over and over again. Weren't expecting that, were you? With Scar, combat will feel much more varied, as you'll now have to consider which weapons your enemies are wielding. Some might wield slow, but heavy-hitting warhammers, while others might wield daggers, rendering them extremely nimble. I also recommend you grab Enhanced Enemy AI to make enemies even more intelligent and challenging. Mages will use more spells, especially defensive ones, and warriors will bash and power attack more often, to keep you on your toes. To prevent the annoying recoil animation that takes place when actors hit other blocking actors, we'll use No Recoil. It's a tiny mod, but it'll allow us to chain combos on blocking enemies, and will help the flow of combat. Sometimes enemies pull off instant bash attacks that you can't really react to, so we'll need Vanguard to overhaul bashing animations. With Vanguard, bash attacks will be telegraphed, and the new bash animations are a good way of closing the distance between enemies. Alright, so we all know that vanilla Skyrim hitboxes are insanely inaccurate. To fix this issue, we'll need Precision. 
This mod adds accurate collisions for melee attacks. Nice. However, it also comes with neat features like hit reactions, weapon trails that take your weapon enchantments into account, hit stop, and camera shake. You can even enable recoiling if your weapons hit certain objects like walls, making you think twice about fighting in tight corridors with a massive weapon. By default, attacks will also be able to hit multiple enemies, but thankfully collision is disabled for followers and non-hostiles during combat, so you won't accidentally hurt NPCs you don't want to. There's also an optional feature that will enable iframes on the lower body while jumping, heavily inspired by Elden Ring, so you can jump over attacks like a dragon's tail sweep to avoid damage. Thankfully, precision is highly configurable, so you can disable or tweak its features in-game if you find that you don't like some or want to do some adjusting. Now, if we're trying to modernize Skyrim's combat, I'd have to of course mention True Directional Movement. This mod lets you move and attack in any direction while in third person, adds in target locking, mounted directional movement with archery, and projectile aim support with an optional homing projectile setting. But just like with Precision, you can disable or tweak its features in-game. I play on a controller, so the homing projectile feature makes playing a mage quite fun. I don't constantly have to predict and aim projectiles anymore. Though, this might be a little overpowered, so you might not want this feature enabled. We now need a dodge mod. I've chosen DMCO for my setup. It features iframes and customizable stamina consumption. You'll also be able to dodge in 8 directions, and can perform step dodges with a single input, and rolling dodges with a double input. But for those who would like to dodge in first person, or allow enemies to dodge, I recommend you grab TK Dodge RE instead. Now we have a solid foundation, let's grab Valhalla Combat as our main combat mod. Valhalla Combat is designed with modern principles in mind, being heavily inspired by modern action games such as Assassin's Creed Valhalla, God of War, and Elden Ring. This mod alone is going to fundamentally change how combat feels, giving us an enjoyable but integrated experience. Let me quickly explain its features. Stamina is going to regenerate 5 times faster than in vanilla with all combat actions consuming stamina. Light attacks that successfully hit enemies will regenerate stamina, however unsuccessful light attacks will cost stamina. This encourages a precise playstyle and rewards good positioning and timing. Keep in mind heavy attacks will still consume stamina normally. If your stamina is depleted, you'll enter a state of exhaustion. You'll deal half as much damage from melee attacks, but exhaustion will go away once your stamina regenerates fully. This system might seem a little strange at first, but it decentivizes spamming heavy attacks. NPCs can also enter the exhausted state, however they won't be able to attack while exhausted. This will essentially change the flow of combat. Fights don't dissolve into spamming contests like they do in vanilla, because you're rewarded by properly combining and timing light and heavy attacks, and you'll never deplete your stamina pool if you're skilled enough. You can perform timed blocks by blocking when an enemy is just about to hit you to negate all incoming damage and deal stun damage back to the attacker. And if you're skilled enough and block just in the nick of time, you might even pull off a perfect block to instantly stagger your opponent and restore your stamina fully. You're also able to block projectiles. Doing so will cost magicka, but if you don't have enough magicka, you will take damage. But if you manage to perfect block a projectile, the projectile will instead be deflected back to its sender. NPCs will now have a stun meter based on their health and stamina. If you have True HUD installed, you'll be able to see this meter above their head. Offensive actions like attacking, perfect blocking, and bashing can deplete this meter. Once this stun meter is fully depleted, NPCs will enter a vulnerable state and will be open to an execution kill move. There are more features being worked on for Valhalla Combat, like perilous attacks, enemy dodging AI, perk mod integration, and a poise system. But even in its current state, I highly recommend you give it a shot if you haven't already. It's hard to articulate in words how engaging combat feels with this setup. It alters combat to be much more fast-paced in a smart way, and rewards skill, unlike in vanilla. With all the combat mods I've mentioned combined, we're able to take Skyrim's dated combat from this to this.
combat setups for Skyrim is a huge rabbit hole. You can easily spend dozens of hours playing around with different setups, and this overhaul is just a taste of what you can expect once you jump down the rabbit hole. But if you're interested in learning more, I highly recommend you read the written guide and watch my Elden Ring combat video. You might come across some mods that you want in your setup, such as stagger mods like poise, or balancing mods like projectiles. And that concludes the video. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content, grab some merch, and consider supporting the channel on Patreon. My amazing patrons help make it possible for me to keep producing the content you're watching while I also study at uni. Take care lads and lasses, and I'll see you next time. This is like the oblivion crisis all over again.